The TPP is the end of democracy. Oh, look at all those ladybugs running around the federal building. Oh, yeah. You need to stop bugging me. Oh, yeah. So, me and about a thousand of my friends hanging out here at the uh, federal building. I'll be setting these ladybugs free today. And I wish I had freedom, but this federal government right here, this one I'm going to be yelling at in a minute, yeah, it won't give me freedom. I should be so lucky. I thought the Constitution of the United States gave me freedoms. There's your camera. There it is. The federal government is supposed to protect our freedoms. The federal government is supposed to be for the people. It's supposed to protect our rights, not decimate them, not trample them. The federal government, this federal government right here, yeah, it's been trampling my rights. And I just hurt my hand banging on the building. You didn't even see it because the camera is over there. Anywho, it's week three, and it's me and a thousand ladybugs and a big old federal building, and I think we can uh, make some magic happen, if you know what I mean. It's a beautiful building. I wish it represented a government that, I don't know, worked for me. So, enough about me. Today, I'm here to talk about the TPP. The TPP, if it passes, will be the end of American sovereignty. I am not being overly dramatic here. This was negotiated in a secret by over 600 corporate advisors, and it means to take away sovereignty. Any corporation that doesn't like a federal, state, or local law can now, if this passes, will be able to sue. If the TPP passes, they'll be able to sue the state, the federal government, or even your city or town, because they don't like a regulation. And then the city, state, or country has to pay the corporation. There are food safety regulations that they don't always work, and the EPA and some of the other agencies have a lot of problems, but this would circumvent them entirely. A company wants to import meat from Vietnam, and it doesn't have any of the safeguards that our meat has here. Under the TPP, that's just fine, and if you try to stop them, they will take you to court, and then they will take your money. This is the worst kind of trade deal, because it's not a trade deal, it's a corporate power grab. And I know what you're thinking, wait a minute, the judicial branch is a pillar of our democracy. So let them sue, it won't be a problem. Yeah, the TPP, it invents its own courts, its own legal system, where multinational corporations, they'll sue governments, and it'll go in front of tribunals of corporate lawyers. Who do you think they're gonna side with? Under the TPP, our courts won't even matter because it's gonna be decided by corporate lawyers on corporate panels deciding what's best for all of us. I mean for the corporations. This is a corporate power grab. We have to stop the TPP. We have to stop it. It is the end of American sovereignty. And if your corporate, <laughs> I meant if your elected representative, I called him a corporate representative because most of them are. But if your legal representative in Congress, your congressperson, you need to, you, you right there, you need to call them and you have to say, do you support the TPP? And if they say, I don't know yet, you have to say, what's taking you so long to say no? Because it's the end of American sovereignty. The corporations have always tried to do their best to limit the power of government so they can have more control. The TPP is the end. It's over at that point. There will be no more sovereignty of state, federal, local governments. None of that will matter because the corporations can take you to court and can take all of your money just because you put a law saying that, I don't know, they should respect the environment. Yeah, environmental laws will be struck down by the TPP. Environmental laws struck down by the TPP. Oh, you can see that coming. That's basically what it's for. You want a Clean Air Act? You want a Clean Water Act? Well, that hurts the company's bottom line. So they're going to take your municipality or your state or your government to court. And guess what? Then you're going to have to pay them money because you tried to have clean air and water. Are you kidding me? So I got so riled up talking about the TPP, I almost forgot that it's 420. And these little fellers, these little fellers are massing for a big jailbreak. They know what's coming. 
They know what's coming. What's up, guys? You ready? Well, empty it into the bag, and then they get to just go free from the bag. And then we're just gonna set it right here. Hey, look at all these bugs. They're running around the federal building. Oh, yeah. Ladybugs, federal building. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ladybugs in the federal building. Oh, yeah. Ladybugs in the federal building. Telling that federal building, stop bugging me. Yeah. And as long as I don't bring my ladybugs through those doors, they're not gonna stop me. Apparently this is where they drew the line, right at those doors. So I'm releasing ladybugs just at the tree here. Cause that's what I do, oh yeah, I release.